Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you what your teacher made document looks like from your student's perspective. When they open up their assignment, they'll have a toolbar on top. Here they can draw, highlight, add shapes, or even text to their document. Down below you'll notice that I have all of the items and tools here that you as a teacher could insert in. So let's look at what your student sees. To start with, we have our true, false, yes, no items. Here, they have their little boxes where they can easily click to show whether it's true or false. Next, we have our multiple choice and checkbox items. Here, next to the multiple choice, they have circles where they can click on the correct one, and the checkbox items have squares. I think this is really helpful because this shows that they can click on more than one. For the matching item, your student would hover over one side and you'll notice a crayon appears. And what they would do is click down and they would drag it to the other side to match. They would keep going. And if they make a mistake, they can just click down and that line will disappear. For the short answer item, these boxes here are something that you insert in and your student would just click in it and type. You can have a border around your boxes, but you do not have to. For the open answer item, this is if they write multiple sentences or even paragraphs. What they would do here is they would click in the box and they would begin typing. You can also add a starter text to help your students as well. For the hotspot item, this is where they would click on the correct picture You'll notice that there's these little squares over top of the pictures and also the mouse changes to a hand. What your student would do is they would click on one and then it would turn the shade of blue to show it was one they chose. For the drop down item, they'll see these little boxes here and they'll click on the arrow and their choices would appear. They would click on the correct one and it would go into that box. and they would just continue. For the math number tool, you'll notice here that these are the little boxes that you inserted in as well, and they could just type in the answer. For the fraction and mixed number tool, I really like this because it's really clear for the students where to put their whole number, and then where to put their numerator and their denominator. For the algebraic expression tool, what they would do is click in the box again, and you'll notice that the toolbar up top changed. I think that this is really helpful for students and I really love it because you can see they have fractions, they have exponents, and all of these symbols that are either really difficult for students to find on the keyboard or some of them might not even be there. So for this one, I'm going to insert the fraction and I'm going to type my answer. For the next one, I would just click in the box and add my answer there. As you can see, TeacherMade is really easy for your students to use, and I know mine really love it. 